Okay, I said I was going to do something about this, but this is my realistic chronomatic 268 clock radio that has got an issue of some sort, and just time just is flying by. It was playing the radio at random one day. Um, it, is, it works really good, but man, is it sloppy in here. I had to replace the battery clip a long time ago. And, um, you know, it seems silly to repair stuff like this, but it really does sound good and it really does pick up stations really well. Um, <clears throat> I think it sounds good for a clock radio. It doesn't annoy me when I wake up. The Sony that I have right now is a bit irritating to listen to. Um, my suspicion is this cap is bad. And that TMS3455 chip, you can see down in there, we'll focus, is, um, this is the actual clock radio itself, that's the actual clock. Um, not really sure anything about it, I can't find any complete data sheets for it. Um, TDA1220B for the AM and FM IF. And a TBA 820M for the audio amp. That's actually part of probably part of the reason I like this thing. That chip, I have tested those, and they have like a distortion signature. It looks like a tube amp almost. Um, volume control needs cleaning. There's the AM antenna, and then of course we got the speaker. A couple things about taking this thing apart. <clears throat> when you you have to kind of finagle these out of the way, you have to kind of push on this side of the cabinet, and then the the back side, the switch, and the external uh, headphone jack or speaker jack is um, grabs the back panel. So be careful. Um, the other thing is. Most of these kinds of things, I mean, I've shown how to work on stuff in the past, but be careful. Uh, you can get shocked or even electrocuted if you don't know what you're doing. Um, this is a pretty safe thing. The power cord actually goes right into the transformer. It's a non-concentric wound transformer. Blue, I guess, is for the heater in the vacuum fluorescent display. It looks like the, the red and yellow is for the actual rest of the power. Um, there's the FM antenna, and they, capa they couple it capacitively to the line cord by just wrapping it around it. And obviously I have a cold, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm starting to get cabin fever, and I needed to do something. And these switches, I'll probably pull this off and get dust and debris out from under here so that it acts a little better. It's like their contacts are bouncing. But it has been it is 25 years old now, so I'll add to this here in a little bit. Okay, so probably the first thing to do is check some filter caps and stuff like that. Let's see if I can operate the camera and do this at the same time here. We sure the filter cap is. And another thing I noted, like I said, it's worked all this time, but look at that. So Let's see if we can operate this thing one-handed. Ah, whoops. Probably not. Well, may be the problem. <clears throat> made with that I sometimes since it is a made in China kind of thing. Yep, that's probably it. 
the, the, the Hu Flung Dung capacitor as I kind of kid around and we'll deal with that here in a bit. Um, now one thing I'd like to say though is that sometimes people criticize people for fixing old things like this. This thing kind of has sentimental value to me since I got it as a Hanukkah present when I was 12. Um, and uh, it was picked up by my dad and my dad passed away when I was 14 and um, <clears throat> the other thing is it, it is one less thing to go in the trash um, and then I have the the pride and workmanship and knowing that I fixed it or even made it better okay now um, some of these switches are acting a little weird and stuff, so I'm going to just clean this up, clean these contacts, they look pretty clean, I've got a little bit of contact cleaner from getting the volume pot cleaned, and these switches cleaned. Um, this was definitely the problem, this one's completely open, and you can see the seal is all cracked. And the only other cap that was really, really bad was this, and it was not even that bad, was this 2.2 right here. Everything else seems to be okay. I replaced a couple more just because I had them, and um, I'll just leave it alone for now. So when it starts acting weird again, I'll just open it up again and fix it. One of the other things I've heard about is these switches getting sticky here. Some of that is just dirt and stuff getting down in there. So, um, I guess that's it. Okay, it's working. And in the personal columns, there was this letter I read. If you like pina coladas, and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into your... Okay, the copyright police will probably get me. Um, but, um, <clears throat> nonetheless, it is working. All the buttons work like they're supposed to. We get time set. And this used to jump around like crazy. Smooth that operates. And, um, the alarm setting. Everything is working. Volume control. Is it scratchy anymore? Falling into the same 